Hi, I'm Tayo. I'm with VoiceMag. Um, would you like to introduce yourself for the people watching? Hi, I'm Becky. I'm an artist and I'm taking part in Totally Tens. Yeah. Okay, could you please describe uh, Fantastical Fleet for me, the project that you're working on? Yeah, so Fantastical Fleet is a self-guided walk around the lower reaches of the fleet. Um, and the River Fleet used to run from Hampstead all the way down to um, the, ri the River Thames at Blackfriars. And this bit just goes around the, the bottom bit. So it kind of goes from Blackfriars Bridge into Bridewell and then into Ludgate. Um, and yeah, it takes you around the bit of the fleet that was once a tidal inlet. And it was where kind of all the Roman ships came in. Um, and it was a major shipping route up until about the 17th century. So what makes the River Fleet so special? Um, I guess partly it's really interesting because it's buried. So, um, so it now runs in drains underneath, underneath the city. Um, and it used to be a kind of river of wells. So it was one of the main sources of water in London and there were loads of wells along the river where people would get water and these were often considered holy or they were places where people went to kind of place wishes for wishing wells um and then it got kind of slowly used for putting more refuse in and became a bit of an open sewer and then it got buried into drains so it now it's in these giant old victorian brick drains and occasionally it goes out into the thames but it's mostly diverted off into hackney marshes mm -hmm. Um, so on this Fantastical Fleet project, you're working with audio, visual and video here. Is it difficult to kind of balance those things and put them all together? Um, yeah, it's a bit of a new adventure for me and we didn't actually end up using video. So mm -hmm. I might edit the, um, the bit of the description that says that. Um, we ended up using audio um, and it's a kind of written guide and then it's audio stops that people can listen to on the way and we used audio because we thought it would be a lot easier on people's phones mm -hmm. and things to to not take up so much bandwidth and memory and yeah we we'll use all of everyone's gigabytes <laughs> yeah um, is it difficult to work with audio in this sort of context um, I'll be really interested to see what the feedback is actually. Um, but I think it's quite, it's quite a nice way of doing it when we are socially distanced. Because I think with audio, um, usually I take people around personally and I tell the stories to them and there'd be a big group of people and we'd all chat about them all the way around, which is really not possible at the moment for a lot of people. So by putting it on audio, you still have quite an intimate experience of the of the story and you can go around with a few other people, but it's, yeah, I think it's a very different experience. Mm -hmm. Is it really important that this sort of experience is intimate then for you? Yeah, so I think story at its best, you're kind of, you're in a collaboration with whoever's listening. So the two of you together are imagining this story into reality. And, I think actually I really enjoy doing that kind of one-to-one -one or with really small mm. groups of people. Um, just, it, yeah, it becomes really personal and that's really beautiful. Um, so what, actually bring me on to my next sort of question. Uh, what is your relationship with rivers, the river fleet and the Thames in general? Um, well, I guess I'm a swimmer. <laughs> so I'll start there. Like, I really, really love water. If I see water, I want to go in it. Um, and then I'm also being a storyteller and a mythologist. Um, I do a lot of research and I naturally get drawn to these really watery stories. How many of these buried rivers are there in London? Roughly, um, yeah. I think about 10 or 15. Yeah. There are quite a lot. So lots of, it's basically mm -hmm. all the small tributaries to the Thames. Um, but it used to be, I guess, much more Venetian, but they kind of pop up in unusual places. So like the Serpentine mm -hmm. in Hyde Park is a part of a river. And yeah, they're kind of, they're kind of still there. And then a few are still above ground, like the Wandle. Yeah, okay. Um, so you've obviously talked about um, the ways in which you've made this tour different to how you normally do it because of the pandemic. Are there any other kind of elements of it of the creation or of the execution that you think are different or made different by the whole situation going on? 
I think it's a, I think it's a very different experience exploring for yourself. Um, so I've, there's a PDF map you can download and it's kind of got little clues of other bits of history that go alongside the stories So it's talking about yeah. Fleet and it's talking about the areas, the area where Blackfriars Abbey used to be. And I think if you're there on your own, rather than being on a guided tour, you can really take your time and kind of wind out in and out of all of the little streets because it's just such a rich area. Like, you know, this is a part of London that was within, the, mostly within the city walls. And you've got, you know, there's histories of prisons, there's history of the fire of London, there's Roman history, there's Saxons, like the Vikings came, you know, it's a really rich historical place. Do you think there's a lot of historical value in rivers and water? Rivers and water are really interesting for so many years. This was the Thames and the River Fleet. It was an important trade route. Um, so there's just so much history bound up in it um, and so much history of the city as well. So mm. I think it's really important. Do you think we kind of appreciate the river enough? I don't think most people know the fleet's there. Like it's buried <laughs> um, in a drain. Um, I have seen a few amazing photos of people who've been down there. And the Thames, I mean, the people are appreciating the Thames more. And like, it's gotten so much cleaner in my lifetime. Um, and there's more fish. But I think also there's so much more we could do to, yeah, to really rewild the river and really appreciate this kind of amazing natural habitat that courses through the middle of the city. Um, so one last thing before we go, um, where can people find you and your work uh, online or if, there's, if it's in person spaces or wherever? Yeah, so I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Beck Leach, which is B-E-C-L-E-A-C-H. And my website is www.beclach.co.uk. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's been great. Well, thank you.